Hello everyone and welcome to the Inside Santa's Workshop Challenge. Um, now really looking forward to this one. We're going to have a go at questions where there's lots of different clues and lots of different pieces of information and you've got to think, well what do I use first and I can use these pieces of information together. It's going to be very complex. Now often when children are met with questions like this, they see all the information and it's almost too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by breaking a question down that involves reindeers and carrots we're going to hide some of, the, some of the clues, see if you can work out any of those um, possible answers, and then we're going to add bits in. That will help you to understand the main question, which is about who has eaten all the mince pies. Good luck and enjoy. Welcome to the Inside Santa's Workshop task. Well, technically, we're starting just outside the workshop. Vixen, Rudolph, Dasher and Cupid eat in total 24 carrots. How many carrots does each reindeer eat? Now, what do you mean you don't know? Well, of course we don't know. We need some more information if we're going to work out how many carrots each reindeer eats. We, we can't tell yet. Um, so there, I've given you three clues. All right, all right, they're hidden, they're hidden. So you still, you still don't know. But I wonder, what could those clues be there? So those three clues will allow us to answer the question, how many carrots does each reindeer eat? But what could that information be? Now, pause the video and have a think. What clues could be hidden underneath those red boxes? Okay, and let's see what those clues actually are. Well, Vixen eats, we don't know how many more yet, but he eats more carrots than Cupid. Now, we will find out how many more but we just don't know that part yet. But we know that Vixen has more than Cupid. Uh, the second clue, Dasher eats some exact fraction of the carrots. It might be a half, a quarter, a third, a sixth, we don't know yet, but we know it's some fraction of those 24 carrots. Uh, and that last clue, Vixen and Rudolph eat 13 carrots in total. So how many carrots does each reindeer eat? Now, we can't work out the answer exactly yet for definite, but we can work out different possible answers. So your ne next task is this. I want you to pause the video and see if you can find different possible answers. Now have a think, which clue will you start with? And why will you start with that one when you're finding different possible answers? Pause the video now and have a go. Can you come up with an answer? Can you come up with different possible answers? Well, let's explore some possible answers. Now, what I started with was Dasher and the fraction that Dasher could have eaten. Now, could it have been a half? Um, well, let's say if we put half of those 24 carrots um, for Dasher, that would leave 12 carrots left. And actually, I know that can't be possible because we know that Vixen and Rudolph eat 13 carrots. And so, so half would be just too many for Dasher. Um, so how about, could it be possible that Dasher eats a third of the carrots? Well, if Dasher eats a third of 24, 24 into three equal groups, that's eight for, for Dasher. Um, and how many carrots does that leave? 24, subtract that eight on the right hand side, that leaves me with 16. Now I know that Vixen and Rudolph eat 13 of the carrots. Um, so that would leave three for Cupid. Um, now, if we have a look at that other clue that we have, is we know that Vixen eats more than Cupid. So of the 13 carrots that are left, I know that Vixen must have more than three. Let's say Vixen could have five, that's a possibility. And that would mean that Rudolph then would have eight. So there we go, there we have one possible answer. Now, if I was to try and find another possible answer, I could keep Dasher having the same amount, still a third. Cupid could still have then that, those three. So the amount that's uh, shared between um, Vixen and Rudolph is still 13, but maybe what happens is Vixen actually has one more and Rudolph one less of those 13. So there's another possible answer. It could be that Vixen has six carrots, um, that Rudolph has seven, that Dasher has eight and Cupid has three. There's another possible answer. Now I'm going to reveal what the question actually is. Vixen eats four more carrots than Cupid and Dasher eats a quarter of the carrots. Now, have another go, pause the video. What actually is the answer? And again, have a think about the order that you'll approach those clues in.
Okay, and then when you're ready, let's have a look. I would start with, uh, the, with Dasher again, because we know exactly how many Dasher must have. It's a quarter of 24. So Dasher must have exactly six. And that means there are 18 carrots left. We know that Vixen and Rudolph have 13 of those 18 carrots. And so that leaves five for Cupid. Um, so then of the 13 carrots we have le left for Vixen and Rudolph, well, we know now that Vixen has four more than Cupid. So Cupid has five. So Vixen must have exactly nine. And for Rudolph, just four. There we go. Now, that brings us on to today's main task. We're going to work through the, the answers to this task in this video later, but this is one for you to have a go at. And now we are inside Santa's workshop. The Christmas elves have been busy making presents. This has made them hungry. Mrs. Claus decided to count how many mince pies each elf has eaten in the last week. Now we know in total, the three elves ate 26 mince pies. Alabaster Snowball ate the most mince pies, but Alabaster Snowball ate less than half of the mince pies. Bushy Evergreen ate four more mince pies in Sugar Plum Mary. How many mince pies did each elf eat? That's your task. Have a think which clue you're going to start from. Can you use any equipment to help you to break this down? Um, explore. Enjoy. I'm going to see you on the other side when we're going to have a look at finding those solutions. All right, well, let's have a look. I'm going to show a way that I went about breaking this down. And hopefully these pictures are, are, are going to be really helpful. Um, I actually started like this. I thought, well, we know that Bushy Evergreen has got four more than Sugar Plum Mary. So I know that Bushy Evergreen, of course, has got to have at least four. Um, and the other thing that I know is that Alabaster Snowball has more than Bushy Evergreen. So I thought I'm going to start with Alabaster Snowball having five. He's got to have at least one more than Bushy Evergreen. Um, so I know now that every time I add one more for Bushy Evergreen, I've got to add one more for Sugar Plum Mary, and I've got to make sure that Alabaster Snowball always have the, has the most. So what I thought I'd do next is I'm going to add four more mince pies for each person. There. So now the difference between the amount that Bushy Evergreen has and Sugar Plum Mary has is still four more mince pies. And Alabaster Snowball still has one more, at least more, than Bushy Evergreen. Um, now, from this point, I was thinking, well, there's five left. What should I do now? Now, I know that I can't give them all to Alabaster Snowball. I know that Bushy and Sugar Plum Mary must have more than that. And I know that because half of 26 is 13, and Alabaster Snowball has less than half of the overall mince pie. So the most that Alabaster Snowball could have is 12. So I know that must be at least one more each. Um, so there we go. So there's still, Bushy Evergreen still has had four more than Sugar Plum Mary and Alabaster Snowball still has the most. Now, what to do next for my next step? Well, for this final step, I know I can't just give another one to Bushy Evergreen and one to Sugar Plum Mary, but not give one to Alabaster Snowball because then Bushy would have the same number as Alabaster Snowball. Um, but if I was to give one more to Bushy Evergreen, I'd have to give one more to Sugar Plum Mary. So that difference stays at four. So actually, I know those last two. It must have been Alabaster Snowball. So in total, Alabaster Snowball has 12. Sugar Plum Mary has five. And Bushy Evergreen has nine of those mince pies. Now, everyone, if you can manage some more challenge, this extend task looks at the number of presents the elves make. It's a challenging one, so can you find the answer? Can you explain the order that you had a look at those clues in? Uh, good luck with that one. And it might be you even move on to the create task. And in the create task, you can design your own puzzle. So uh, that would be really good for you. Open up that mind. I hope that's a great challenge for you. Merry Christmas and good luck with this task.